Hello, hello, my beautiful people. You are welcome to this channel today. Today, as you can see, this lovely cap and this beautiful dress is what we're going to be making today. You are welcome. My old subscriber, my new subscriber, you are welcome. May God continue to bless you richly in Jesus' name. You are welcome. So, guys, this beautiful dress is what you are going to be using today. You need this marker to mark the dress. And you need tape. You need scissors and you need your measurements book. So, first and foremost, well, I'm going to be using my measurements. Which my measurement, you have to spread this, uh, the cloth this way. So, after spreading it, you take it to the other side. You just fold it this way. So, I'm not going to be putting zip at the back. I just want it to be normal simple shirt so we're going to be taking the shoulder from here so before the shoulder you take half inch up so now the shoulder my shoulder is 20 i'm going to be taking 10 so from there you take your armpit your armpit how to get your armpit is to measure your bust and divide it into four remove one inches or two inches away from it you will get your armpit one inches is better you just draw the way i draw it this way so now i'm going to be taking the neck i'm going to be taking three and one and half because i'm going to be using the back so you just draw so now you just take it down with one inch to the armpit so that is it so from here you measure bust so my bust is 47 so now divided into 4 will be 11.75 so that is what we are going to be using to cut it so my hip the same let just my hip is 45 49 sorry so you cut it down with my hip which is 11.75 so you're just going to cut it down that way while my full length is 46 so i'm going to be cutting it down with my hip team 46 as you see the way I'm doing it, my half bust is 15. You just cut it down. If you don't understand it, just put it at the comment. I will use the paper that you will understand just to show you how to do the measurement. So now I'm cutting it. So that is the armpit. So I just cut here this way you see that place i curve is where my half bust ended so i'm going to cut it down remember i use my hip so after that when i'm sewing it i'll be using the right measurement so i'm still using my hip so now the down i have to add one inches to fold so so that i can fold it and curve it you see the way I'm going to curve it, you curve it to the other side. Because I want you to have this curve. You just curve it to the other side. So now you just trim. You cut it out. It's very simple. If you don't understand it, just put it down below. I will have to use paper to show you how to mesh, cut out any measurement you want so that is how so now i have to notch where i want it to be open i will notch it you just notch so that is it so after that we are going to be removing one out of it you know the front don't have to be the same at the back so we take one out of it so that we can cut the front proper so we're going to be taking one removing one 
so you have to turn it this is the front let's turn out the back because it's not good to cut it with the back so now I've turned the back so now the neck we are going to be taking it down to three so that the because this is the front to three to curve more to be deeper because the back is high shoulder high neck the down is it have to be low so this is it so i want to open it there because i don't want to pull this so that it will not be difficult when i want to wear it i'm using seven so you can decide to use any one you want so i'm using seven you just open it so that is it so now i'm going to be trimming this one because i will use it to design i will trim it trim it out because i don't want to buy another um, material since it have black in it so this one is the hand this is the way i measure it you just measure your armpit and take the length of your hand take you just cut it out if you don't understand because that time my camera went off so now i'm going to be cutting the cap the cap is just straight way like this. You measure your head round. The measurement it gave to you, you will use it to cut it. Mine was 21. I divide it into two. So the length I'm going to be taking seven. So you can decide to take any one you want. So I'm going to be taking seven. Just this straight is not difficult. Simple as A B C D. This is where I'm going to be using to cover the down. So that is it. So now I'm going to be cutting. You will measure the place we open. I'm going to be cutting the long tie that I'm going to use to design it from this material. So that is what I'm doing right now. I'm going to sew it and turn it out. So it's seven. So you have to measure from where you open. I opened seven so I cut at seven two. So I'm going to be sewing knit from the back. I will turn it out. It's seven, you see? So I'm cutting it seven, but I will cut it eight so that we I will use the rest to sew. Always put allowance and it's good to iron too when you're sewing. Very important very important okay anything you don't understand just talk to me i will just do only measurements alone if you don't understand as a beginner so i'm sewing it right now so as a beginner if you don't understand and you love to sew just say i don't understand the measurement i will take paper just do only measurements with that sewing no clothes i'm going to do that even you, without you asking don't worry i'm going to do that so now i'm going to be turning it out so i'm going to be turning it out i will just i'm going to draw pattern for you next time so that it will not be difficult you will know the pattern you have to be going with if you want to cut any type of clothes so i've turned it this way now is you see iron it because i iron it too so this is the place that i open so i'm going to be sewing it there if you like you can um just use other cloths to land in it but i'm not going to be landing it this 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 uh, material because this material is so heavy so i'm sewing it this way because i don't want to put lining because it's too heavy if I put landing to it, it will be more heavier. So you just sew it to the other side the way I'm doing it now. So after I finish doing it, you have to turn it and sew it down. You see the way it is, you sew it down. Don't worry, sometimes you might be looking at it as if 
What is this? I'm confused. I'm confused. Gradually, you will know. Okay, I will just bring up. I will bring out pattern that will be easily for you to learn. So this is it. So the other side is where we. So at first, I'm going to be taking it and sewing it. You sew it up there. This way. If you don't understand, don't be ashamed to say, I don't understand. Can you draw a pattern for me? I love to sew clothes. I will draw a pattern for you. Okay? So, this is the, you just sew it down. Now you put the machine, the needle, and turn it and sew it all over this way. If I want to be doing it just one by one the video will be too long it will be boring so i don't want the video to be too long so this way i just cross it i just sew it down it's just a simple style so it will be this way even me you know me I do wear this one but i just want to sew it I love it. Now I'm going to be taking the shoulder. You take the two right side together. The, the back, you sew the shoulder together. That is what I'm doing. Now the shoulder, you join both sides together. That is what I'm doing right now. I'm joining them together. The two shoulder. So you see, you take the other side, you do the same way you do to the other side you just sew it so that is it guys you can do it it's not difficult even though you don't want to use it as a business you can be saying anything you want in the house for yourself for your children so that is it now i'm going to be sewing the neck round so what you will do measure your round neck when you measure your round neck what what you have is what you use to cut out your neck so now that i'm through with it i'm going to be sewing the armpit the the hand to the armpit so where we notch you take it from there you take it from there and just sew you start sewing it that way so the way you sew this side you sew the other side like that so you have to be cutting the thread I'm going to weave it later I'm going to weave all those places later so you fold the hands this way with one inch or two depends on the allowance you cut Depends on the allowance you add to it. If the allowance is not up to two, don't use two, use one. So, this is it. So, now this is the hand side, the round cuff. So, you measure from there. How many is it? Mine was 10. 10 divided by 2 is 5. You have to divide your hand, your round curve by two not by four if you're finished sewing it when you are joining it together everything you are dividing now will be into two not into four at the beginning when we start sewing we, we cut into four but when you started sewing when you finish sewing it when you have joined everything together you want to join them you do it into two so now from there you have to be Taking the bust measurement so that you not made mistake. You take from the other side to the other side. You take measurement and just join it together. You take your bust measurement. That is the way you will do it in. You finish sewing it. I'll take the bust measurement and take my round bust measurement. And you will still take your hip measurement. So the way I do it to the other side. That is where I'm doing it to this place too. So if you don't understand it, as I said, just put it down below. 
So the dial I'm going to be turning it right now. So I will turn all the down round. Don't be hurry when you are doing the when you are turning the the downside because of the roundness it can be difficult for you as a beginner so that is it guys i'm going to be doing um i'm going to be using a paper to cut a pattern that it will be easy for you i will use a marker so that you will follow up so now i'm going to be making the cap so the cap first and foremost i just turn here the down you turn it so after turning it I'm going to be sewing this I will sew it straight because I want to use it to do my flower I want to you start printing it this way you see the way I print it you start printing it this way simple as a bull city you print everything all through so after printing it the next step that we're going to be taking you see to be this way so that is it so you see you just you can use it to do your flower so now this bias that they use to turn any material so it comes with different color. I'm going to be using it to turn the front of my cap. So this way I turn it. This way. Just use it to turn it all around. I just want the black to show at the down. So that is it. You cut you fold it into to the center is where we're going to be putting the design this design that we printed out so we're going to be sewing it round we'll be sewing it round it's very easy it's just to to have that mindset that you can do it when you have that mindset that you can do it you will always be creative okay so sewing machine is not cost you can see cheap sewing machine to buy anywhere even though it's not new one it doesn't matter guys it doesn't really matter buy it so any mat any style you want to cut that you know is difficult for you you want me to help you out you don't understand how to cut it just write it down below or send it to my facebook messenger divine div daniel just send it to me so now i'm going to be folding the other material that i'm going to be printing to it so you just cut it and trim so we're going to be folding it i'm going to be folding it printing it the way i print the other one so any style you want to do you don't know you'll be sewing but it's very difficult for you just send it to me I will just do it for you so I, I add it to it you just print it to it beautiful guys so so beautiful 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 you just print it around this one is going to cover the center just straight that way you print it all true you print it all true if you know you don't you don't want to sew you can use gum too you can gum it so I'm cutting here off so you just take it down and so it's that is it guys so now the down you sew it round so after sewing it round you take it this way and just join it together that is it guys I'm done with it if you don't understand as I say just say I don't understand can you show me the pattern I don't understand the way you cut it I don't understand 
the way this go and goes i trim here i'm going to be weaving it you just let me know so you have to iron i iron everything thank you guys for watching bye bye this is